Shalom, shalom. Hope everybody's doing good. I got something I want to share with you just briefly this morning. Um, I've been thinking about this the last couple of days. And, uh, you know, thinking about, you know, doctrine, man-made doctrines. You know, is Christianity a hybrid religion? Is it a hybrid religion? Is Christianity authentic? And the reason I ask this question is because when, you know, I'm thinking about the writings of Paul, uh, James, Peter, and John, I'm thinking about Matthew through Revelation, which was not canonized, I think, to the 15 or the 1600s. And the apostles, the you know, the... The only scriptures that they had available to them was the Tanakh, the Old Testament. So when they spoke about scriptures, they were referring to what you call the Old Testament. But really, it's not an Old Testament. It's the only testament. It's the only testament. When you want to... When you, when you want to read the Word of God, the Word of Elohim, you're gonna to have to you're gonna to have to go from Genesis to Malachi. Because Matthew through through Revelation is just a commentary of what they studied and they compiled it into notes. And the Catholic and the Catholic Church wants you to believe that that is the New Testament, which it is absolutely not. There's no such thing as a New Testament. Might be a renewed testament or a renewed covenant, but the laws and the instructions that we find that's written in the Torah will never change. The Torah that was given at Mount Sinai is still valid today. It has not been it has not been put to the side. Is not been replaced. And the question I ask, is, I think, is a legitimate question. Is Christianity a hybrid religion? Is Christianity authentic? And I say this very, very carefully after much study. The answer is no, it's not. Christianity is a hybrid religion. It's not authentic. It's not rooted and grounded in truth. See, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. He said, according to the law, according to the Torah, and to the testimony of it, if they speak not in agreement with this word, it is because there is no truth in them. Does Christian does Christ does Christianity does Christianity follow the instructions of the Torah? Hear me out. Does Christianity does the, does the pastors who say that God has called them to minister to feed his sheep do they teach in agreement with the Torah? That the Sabbath is not Sunday, but sunset Friday to sunset Saturday. Does Christianity support and come in agreement with observing the seven biblical feasts, which is recorded in Leviticus chapter 23? Does Christianity teach? And come in agreement with the kosher diet. No, they don't do that. And I know some people they they get offended. They get upset because they say you're bashing Christianity, but in reality you're not bashing Christianity. You're 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 you're, you're doing your own research. You're dissecting. And you're wanting to know if what's being taught lines up with the Word. i said this so many times in several videos that the problem with the church, they have no Bereans. 
the church does not have any the, the people in the city in the church. I don't even know why they take their Bibles because they never open it. They never, you, we do not have modern day Bereans within Christianity. And what I mean is this, we don't have people studying the word for themselves to see if what the man behind the pulpit is saying lining up with the Torah. You, we will never have a complete, we will never have an understanding of truth if we don't study the original scriptures. You cannot get an understanding or a grasp of truth when you read just the commentary. And listen, the truth is Matthew through Revelation is nothing but a commentary. It's not on the same level as the Torah. It's not considered a testament. It's a commentary. Man, people are being deceived because they refuse to study. I want to show you something. Look at, look, look at. I'm going to go to the book of Ezekiel. Stay with me for a minute. Let me get my bifocals on. Ezekiel chapter 20. Hang on. 20, nah, 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 nah. See, I know I just passed by it. I just passed by it. Listen. In Ezekiel chapter 22, sorry, Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26, it says, Her priest have violated my law. They have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between holy and profane. Listen, listen to me. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. And they have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths. And I am profaned among them. Her priest have violated my law. The priest, the pastors, the teachers. They have broken covenant. They have disobeyed. They have not followed the instructions. They are sheep in wolf clothing. See... A hybrid religion. The word seminary is a Latin word. Seminary means when you take good seed and you mix it with bad seed and you come up with a false doctrine. That's what Christianity is. That's what Christianity is. It's a mixture of good seed and bad seed. They have violated my law. Ezekiel, they have violated my law. They have made no difference between clean and unclean. What do you mean, Jim, when you're saying they make no difference between clean and unclean? They, Christianity tells you that it's okay to eat pork, swine, shellfish. I said this so many times in videos that there are certain meats that were not to be consumed by human beings because <coughs> they, were, they were waste. They clean up the waste, the filth of the earth. Is Christianity a hybrid religion? Yes, it is. To walk uprightly before the Father, to be in a right standing with the Father. To be in covenant with Him. You have to follow. We have to follow His instructions. Christianity is not the way to go. Paul was a leader of what they call the Nazarenes. The Hebrew word is Nazarene. Who are the Nazarenes? Listen, they knew the name of the Creator, Yahuwah Elohim. 
They walked as Yeshua walked. They kept the Torah. They observed the Sabbath. They kept the kosher diet. They observed the seven biblical feasts. You got to get back to the basics. You got to get back to the truth. There's no excuse for being ignorant of the truth. Simple. The man that's standing behind the pulpit, if he does not teach in agreement with the Torah, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Simple as that. Simple as that. If what you're being taught does not line up with the Torah, you're not being taught the truth. There's no such thing as 50 shades of truth. It's either truth or it's a lie. That's why we need to study for ourselves. That's why we need to show ourselves approved. That's why we need to be modern day Bereans. To study the word for yourself. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you're going to church on a Sunday morning. Thinking you're going to hear the truth. You're wasting your time. You are deceived. Time to wake up. Meditate on this for today. And I pray that you be blessed. I thank you for subscribing to my channel. I thank you for watching. I thank you for supporting me in prayer. And I hope this is beneficial to you. If it is, please share it. Be blessed. Until next time, much, much shalom.